Okay, my name is Marvin Strombo. I'm from Missoula, Montana. And I served in the Marine Corps during World War II and Korea. And like I always say, once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you be able to um, describe the feelings that you had today about the exchange? Oh, I've been waiting so long for this time to come because I knew what the flag meant to the family. And when I saw the, what's her name, Segura? The holding that flag, oh, just above memory ball, you know, it was so much to her. Because <clears throat> they told me that she was the one that walked down with her brother when he left home, so. Um, <clears throat> is, how does it feel to reconnect with the family, uh, with the family that you gave the flag to? How does it feel? I didn't. <coughs> How does it feel to have reconnected with the Sa the Sadoi the Sadoi family that you gave the flag to? How does that feel? Oh yeah, yeah. He, <coughs> he was so happy about it anyhow, and so I was real glad he he's quite the little gentleman by golly. <laughs> yeah, he's quite active. Yeah. So I enjoyed visiting him. Uh, <coughs> what unit were you with in the war, and what did what was your job specifically? In World War II, I was with the scouts and snipers, and in Korea, I was a forward observer for the 81 mortar. Uh, what were all the battles you were part of besides the Battle of Saipan? Well, Saipan, Tinian, well, uh, Chirawa, and Saipan, Tinian, then we were also floating reserve for Okinawa. And then you were in Nagasaki. And then I, oh, I was in Nagasaki, yeah. <laughs> We went into Nagasaki right after the war. We first ones in to Nagasaki. <clears throat> there wasn't much there. Um, <clears throat> how, how did you come across the flag? Can you go through that story and uh, say what emotions you felt during it too? Okay. How did you come across the flag? Could you tell that oh, story and how you felt? Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> We wanted to be the first, our squad, five of us, wanted to be the first one in the Garapan. So we went on a patrol in the Garapan ahead of the American lines. And we got to the Japanese lines, but what happened, we just about got ambushed on the way, but we did make it. And uh, <clears throat> then I uh, got to looking around and I lost contact with my squad, there I was. I was on the Japanese line all by myself, I thought. But then I got to walking around and I saw the soldiers, Japanese soldier laying there. And I knew he was an officer because he had a sword on. <coughs> and uh, I had a hard time taking that flag because, you know, that means a lot to them. But I finally did. But I made a promise that I'd return it. And I'm here today. That's the reason I'm here today. Uh, what rank were you when you found the sword, sir? What was your rank when you found so the soldier? I, oh, no, I was corporal. Corporal? Yeah, yeah and then I was a sergeant in the Korean, Korean War. Yeah. That's where I got it. I'm a corporal. <laughs> She's a corporal, too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a sergeant. She's the sergeant. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Getting up there. Because uh, I knew it, what it meant to the family, you know, that we heard what it meant to the family. And, and I couldn't take it off that soldier. And, and I finally realized if I didn't take it, somebody else wouldn't have been, it'd be lost forever. So I, <coughs> only way I could do it, I, as I reached out to get the flag, I made a promise to him that someday I'd try to return it. And that's the reason I did. <clears throat> how is this significant for you? What, is this, how, what does this mean to you? How is this significant to you personally? Well, it means that I fulfilled a promise 
which I'm happy about. And I mean, I've done something real good to the family that I could see that it made them quite happy. So, you know, it, that's, that's the main thing. Why did you wait so long to return the flag? It's been Because uh, I wanted to right away, 73 years ago, but I had no way of knowing how to do it. And so one day we went up <clears throat> to the university, they have Japanese studies, and then that's when we found out about the Obon Society. And the, then the Keiko and, and the, Rex the Siak got in the picture and they found the, the family here. <laughs> Why did you want your family to take part in this journey with you? Why did you want all of us crazy family girls to come with you on the journey, Grandpa? Oh, they, they can't live alone. alone. I got to take care of them all the time. <laughs> What was the trip like to Japan? Oh, good trip. I, I just love Japan. It's so clean. Did you notice? I bet you couldn't find one cigarette butt on the street in Tokyo. <laughs> Not one. Hmm. You know, that's great. That's the way we should be, really. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it feel now that everything's wrapped up? You've returned the flag. How does that feel? How do you feel now that you've returned the flag and everything's done? <laughs> kind of relieved. And I want to go home and go to bed. <laughs> uh, you, okay. Yeah. I understand that. Um, can you describe what happened during the flag return ceremony through your words? Can you describe what happened in the flag returning ceremony today, how you felt, what happened today? Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, it was a very emotional moment, really. You know, I, uh, I, I uh, saw that uh, guy Samora, the li li older sister. sister, and I saw her holding that flag, and it about broke my heart. You know, and uh, that's the reason I was glad I returned it too. So. <clears throat> Did this journey from getting the flag to having it to returning it change you as a person? Did this journey when you from when you first got the flag until you returned it today, did that change you as a person at all, this experience? Oh, the guy I got the flag from? No, just yourself. Are you a changed person now that you have done this journey? Well, I know way I am. I'm a happier person, I think. So yeah. Yeah. That that helps a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Probably a little bit. You I, I think we might have to do we need to go, Keiko? Is it time to go? Yeah. He needs to eat, yes. 